Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video we'll talk about the latest update of Windows 11 version 22H2 which is called Moment 2. This update is coming with many changes but we will check only 5 most important features or improvement that this update will bring. If you want to check all of them please find a link to Microsoft website on the description below. In order to get this update, you just need to go to search and here you type settings. Once you see settings app, you click on it in order to open. And then from the options on the left, you click over Windows Update. And here you click Check for Updates. Normally, in my case, I have just installed this latest update on my PC. But in case that you haven't installed yet, once you click over Check for Updates, it will show you the update and then you can install. In case that you want to check if you have already installed this update, you go over system from the options on the left and then you scroll down till you find about. And here you can see which version of Windows 11 22H2 is installed on your computer. In my case, the operating system build is 22621.1344. So if your PC has this operating system build version, then it means that you have installed the latest update of Windows 11. Now let's get directly to the new features that are involved on this new update. First of all, as you can see, the search has been changed. So search now, it's coming with some rounded corners and also you can change the way how it is looking right now. And in order to do that, we click with the right of the mouse over the taskbar and then you choose taskbar settings. And as we can see here for the search box, we have different options. One of them is the search box, which is right now this one that is showing. And then is search icon and label. This is how it will be shown. And the other one is search icon only. So you can just see here the search icon only. And the last option is hide. So practically you don't see at all the search on your taskbar, but once you click over start, you can still see search over here. That's all that it's related with the search. I'm gonna choose search box because I really like how it's looking right now. And you can choose which one of them you like. So now let's go to the next change. Again, this new feature is related with search, but not for with this kind of search, but with the search of the files. So let's open this PC and let's suppose that I want to search for a certain file that is on my PC. The change now is because you see live results showing. Comparing with the before, you had to write the full word that you want to search and then you press enter and then you can see the result. But in this case, you can just start typing and then Microsoft will show some results here live on the left. I think that this is a very nice feature that is involved now on Windows 11. The next improvements are related with the battery settings. In order to see those, you open again settings and then from the options on the left, you click over system. And then from the options here on the right, you need to choose power and battery. And here you can see some energy recommendations. We click over energy recommendations. And as we can see, I have in total five different energy recommendations that will help me to save energy and also to lower the carbon footprint. I think that those are really nice because in this way we save some energy and we decrease the carbon footprint. Those changes will affect the power mode for best energy efficiency, the screen brightness for best energy efficiency, device to sleep after 10 minutes, turn off my screen after 3 minutes, turn off my screen saver, and in order to apply them all, you just click over apply all and those changes will be applied. And if you want to change them back, you just click at one of those recommendations and then you change however you like. But I really like those features because we can save some energy. Now let's go to the next change. The next improvements are related with the task manager. Let's go at search and let's open task manager and let's see those changes. The biggest changes are related with the filtering options or with the search option over here. Now we can search here based on the name, publisher or process ID. Let's suppose that I want to see what kind of processes 
are running related with Google Chrome. As we can see now, in my case, those are the processes that are running, the CPU that is occupying or the memory. Let's see the processes that are related with the Word application. So you can search whatever publisher or whatever application that you want, what kind of processes they are running on the background. And the next change is related with a theme. In order to check those, we click over settings from the options on the left. And over here we have those options. One of them is the light version. The other one is dark, which is not the same like the one that I'm using on my PC. So I can have different themes for my task manager or you can just choose use system settings and you will have the same themes that you have for your computer. Also, you can change the default start page, you can put the processes or the performance or app history, whatever you like. And then you can just adjust your window management and the other options you can check also. So those are the main changes on the task manager. <clears throat> A big change is coming also with a snipping tool. Let's have a look on the snipping tool. Let's open snipping tool. And as we can see now, it's involved a new feature, which is recording the screen. I think that you have already heard about this. So in order to record the screen, you just choose this option here, which is saying record. And then you click over new and then you select the part of the screen that you want to record. You click over start and then the recording will start. But in my case, I don't want to do it because I'm already recording by using another application. So basically that's the main feature that is coming with the snipping tool. And if you are having issues with the snipping tool and you don't have this new feature, check another video on the description below how you can get snipping tool by using Microsoft Store. So basically I have just shown you the five most important features or improvements or whatever you want to call those that will be on your PC by installing the latest update of Windows 11 22 H2 version. An extra change that I will show to you is related with the system tray. If we click over system tray, we can see that it's somehow different comparing with the previous system tray and you can do some changes. You can adjust what kind of application you want here on the system tray or whatsoever. But for more details like this, you can check on the description below the link to Microsoft website. So basically that's all that I want to share with you guys. Please leave on the comments below which one of these new features or changes you really like and you are going to use on your daily work with your Windows 11 PC. And if there is another feature that you like, please also share it with us. Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.